Hello and welcome. I am Vinny Soviero and I am with uh, Precision International. I am the engineering technical manager here. And uh, I'd like to take a few minutes to take you through some of the benefits of uh, Precision International kits and components. Um, we want to show you some of the things that uh, may be beneficial to your, to your customers and things you may, you may have seen, may, maybe have not seen in the past. Um, one of the first things I'd like to point out is our current ISO certification where ISO 9001-2008 um, certified through 2018. Uh, we will be certifying to the next standard in, in the near future. We've been certified to ISO since the year 2000 and we're very proud of it. Um, it's something we took on originally for our uh, customer General Motors, but it's something that we feel that's been beneficial to all customers globally. Uh, this is something that uh, that, that proves that we have a quality system. We have many procedures in place, and very, uh, very important to our, uh, very important to our whole quality system. I'd also like to show you that this year we were recognized by uh, ETRA and Gears as a Distinguished Supplier Award. Uh, last year in Las Vegas, we were presented with this. Uh, Vice President Frank Miller was um, uh, generously um, accepted the award for us. And I'd like to show you now some of the benefits of precision kits. They're intended to help your customers get the job done faster, provide a quality repair. There are many special, unique components that we included that other suppliers do not. I want to break some of those, uh, break down some of those high and highlight those items here now. I'm going to show you now Precision International Overhaul K8900 DL. This is an overhaul for the late A340 series, and the purpose of me showing you this is really just show you the complexity of an overhaul kit. As you can see here, there's many components here, the pan gaskets, the gaskets, these are all the clutch O-rings, uh, thrust washes, um, all the clutch packs are individually sub-packaged, uh, the valve body gaskets, uh, all the miscellaneous O-rings, vent tubes, O-rings, filter O-rings, crossover tubes, <clears throat> and then and you see this is a very complex kit because it has a lot of valve body gaskets and thrust washes, check balls. And those are the, you know, that's the uh, a general inspection board. That's what our, our, our customers use, our, our inspectors use, when they are uh, when they're uh, running the kit down the line. Some of the general benefits: uh, we have OEM compatible or better materials on all components. Uh, that's rubber, gasket, sealing rings. We'll upgrade some of these when we need to if we find it's a problem when we're doing teardowns, and we're doing development of a kit. We see there's a problem, inherent problem with the unit. We take, uh, for instance, the polyacrylate rubber. We'll upgrade it to Viton if necessary. We always have a full complement of valve body check bolts or orifices, and it's always conveniently sub-packaged with illustrations to show the ease of location and component installation. Here's an example of one of the instruction sheets that we put on our kit to show you some of the accumulators and the, uh, the D-rings we have to replace the Teflon rings in the uh, old F-Type uh, Ford uh, F40AT. Not sure if you know, but we are an OEM supplier to General Motors. We package, if you go to General Motors dealer and you buy a uh, number of late transmission kits, they will be packaged by Precision International. Uh, some of the examples of the 6040 series, uh, the 4L60Es, one of them as well. Uh, the 6040, as I mentioned already, the 6070 series, the uh, Allison LCT2000-2400 uh, series, and there's many others. Um, um, some of the older four speeds as well, the 4T45 and such. As a result, um, General Motors recognized us this year uh, for last year's performance as a, um, sorry, this is the, the 2014 award that we received last year. You can't receive the award until the year has ended, so um, this is the beginning of 2016. Hopefully we'll receive it 2015 too, I'm sure we will. Um, but this is the award we received last year for our excellence uh, of a supplier award. And this was the presentation of this award when our, our owner and president, Dennis Marshall, traveled to Michigan to receive it. This is the ad that was in um, the magazines. I want to show you some examples of kit benefits. This is KD300KX, which is our ZF5HP19 kit. This part, this little uh, plastic sleeve here, is a pump sleeve. This is in the BMW 5HP19s. The tangs become brittle and they break. And on the 4 o'clock in the afternoon on Friday when you're trying to get the job done and it's not in the kit and you need to get a job done, the uh, customer's going to have to leave the car over the weekend because it's going to take a few days to get it from BMW. 
we add this to the kit to make it an additional benefit to get the job done so that the um, that you get it out the door and the customer can have the can have the job done for the weekend. <clears throat> we include all the orifices, <clears throat> excuse me, for the valve bodies. These are all the different sized uh, check orifices and check holes that that are needed for the 5 HP 19s and the whole 5 HP series. Uh, they're all they're, they're selective, so we include the whole complement. 09G kit. Uh, we recently updated the uh, valve body gasket to uh, open up an orifice area, <clears throat> as you'll note at the bottom here, that was um, potentially blowing out. Uh, when, when you replace the valve body gaskets, originally they're bonded to the plate. When you replace them loose, because the gasket is not as uh, adhered, it have a tendency to get sucked up in, in, into the body. But we opened up that area so that that doesn't happen anymore. This is we have a full complement of the thrust washers for the 09G, 09K, and 09M. This is all the early and late applications as well. And we have a full cool oil cooler package that has all the sealing rings and washers. Recently, we added the output uh, gear support, uh, center support lock washers as well. These are um, these are washers that are one-time use. They have to be bent when you when you take the uh, support off, and uh, and they so we, we we make them in place so that they are flat, and you bend them up to lock the bolts in place after they're in in, in the in the unit. <clears throat> this is the uh, C1 clutch piston. There are two different designs. The late one is slightly taller than the early one. Those are both in the kit now for the 09G, 09K, and 09M. This is the TF-80SC. Same thing, we have the full complement of thrust washers all the way to the late. And the same thing we did with the 09G. We made the center support lock washers that need to re be replaced because they're one-time use. When you take them off, they usually get brittle, they break, and, they, and they'll tear apart. So these, these are made to replace those. <clears throat> this is our Volkswagen 4-speed uh, 096-01M kits. We recently changed the K1 uh, rings. Uh, the original rings were a little thin and, and, and would get brittle. We made them into a new, more durable uh, radial wall, and we made them out of nickel tin materials, so similar to the A604 pump stator rings. These are a lot more brittle. They have a lot more life to them, and they last hundreds of thousands of miles. <clears throat> also, we made solenoid, special solenoid gaskets where there were none, originally in the, in the Volkswagen. There was a lot of uh, leakage issues here. So these little paper gaskets, uh, or washers of gaskets, will seal around the solenoids and prevent any leakage and, and any cross leaks and any solenoid shift issues. <clears throat> we also created the forward drum uh, clutch centering rings. These are uh, made of a special um, special plastic material. And they're, they're while they're very, well, they're very uh, rigid, they're also very uh, flexible so that they don't snap. The original ones get brittle and they'll snap. So we include the full complement of those in uh, both in our Volkswagen kits as well as in our uh, the Renault kits also. <clears throat> the uh, pressure regulator boost valve. The ears on this have a tendency to break. There was a bulletin many years ago from um, ATHD or ATRA uh, regarding uh, being careful with this and not being able to get them available. They're not available separately from Volkswagen. We added these to the kits not too long ago, um, so that you don't have to worry about you know, don't have to worry about finding another valve body with a good one in it. Because once you have once you set the adjustment on that uh, boost valve and uh, and back it off, if those ears break off, then it will lock in place. We also added the pump to K2 uh, drum thrust washer. These also get brittle and, and uh, will be brittle after a few hundred thousand miles on a, after a on a rebuild. So we thought it was a good idea to put those in the kits. Uh, the O2E DSG, I'm sure you've seen these units. We added the uh, uh, shift fork apply and release pistons into the kit. You see there's six, uh, the one small one and uh, two of the large one. The valve, body, the valve body and solenoid filter screens are included in that kit. The impulsion wheels, we recently added uh, the impulsion wheels over the last year. These, are, these items are not sealing items, but they're, um, they do have a pro tendency to get uh, material embedded into them, and they will, they will malfunction then because they need to be there. They have Hall effect uh, 
sensitivity, and uh, if they're if they're not clean and if they're not uh, in good shape, they will it will, it will affect the, uh, the the shift as you you see here. There's two of them. There's two on the input shaft, and there's one on the output shaft. Uh, the impulsion wheels they read the input and output uh, sensor RPMs, and if that's off, it's going to throw the computer off, and and the shifts will be um, erratic to say the least. We also include the auxiliary cartridge filter and seal. <clears throat> the O1J, the Multitronic CVT. Uh, we recently put this re repair kit in the unit, uh, in the kits. This is this is the forward clutch feed pipe, uh, along with the O-ring and an upgraded Teflon ring, which improves the firm fit uh, in, into the suction pump of the feed pipe more stability. The original ring is a uh, plastic uh, peak ring. It's very rigid. It's durable, but it's very rigid, and, and and be, due to the vibrations in the unit, a lot of times they will not uh, will not hold the sealing capacity, and it'll give you forward clutch drum failure. Uh, these these rings are a little more forgiving; that they're uh, a carbon bronze PTFE, and they will they will hold and, and create uh, many miles of uh, pressure retention as as you'd want. And again, just like we did with the uh, 096 series, we make make this the starting clutch centering clips. Because they get break and they brittle, uh, get brittle and they get break as well. <clears throat> RE5 RO5A. We have the valve body screens in there. We also have the special pump seal, which we have in the earlier uh, RE4s as well. This is notched out to uh, accommodate the drain back hole. A lot of times, the original seal, if you if you push it in too far, it will partially block the drain back hole, and it will either cause the seal to be pop out. Or over pressurization, and there won't be any drain back. It, it's very important to have the drain back in these units. DCT 470. I'm not sure if you've seen these yet, but these are another DSG type units. Um, get made by Getreg. Uh, we include the special shift fork pistons in the unit. The shift uh, shift sensor seals. Also. In the um, this is this well this is a 794 a this is re really recently up updated this is the 09G 09K 09M uh, C2 K2 clutch piston the original piston was just a smooth design around the outer edge these have teeth like a steel clutch the purpose of this is to hold the, the uh, piston from spinning uh, it have a tendency to, to gradually spin around and cause uh, clutch failure um, this has been a very good design a very good uh, product for us. And uh, I think you'll find your customers will be happy with it as well. Some of the new kits we have. KP3100H. What is that? This is C635, which is in uh, Chrysler applications. It's uh, it's kind of it's a semi-manual automatic transmission. It's really basically the uh, uh, C624 with a uh, with a, uh, a manual transmission with with a valve body on it, similar to the C624, which I'll show you later. Which is the KP3100J, the 6F24. This is actually based on an A6MF1 unit, which is a Hyundai six-speed. Uh, a lot of similar components, but many many differences, such as the pan gaskets, the um, the clutch plates, and a couple other things that are different as well. But this this unit is specific to the Dodge Dart and the Jeep Patriot and Compass. The DL501. This is a pretty large unit. It's in very uh, being very popular at the Audis, it's, it's a seven-speed DSG type unit that they came out with not too long ago. It's like I said, it's a it's a huge unit, and there's a lot of specialty items to it. Uh, a couple of pistons, and uh, a lot of special components, which I'll show you, which we'll, we'll show you at another time. Uh, K7300H-MD. This is the REO FO8A, found here in the states in the Versa, also in the Cube, and it's very popular overseas. The K7300P is the JF017. Uh, Jacko originally came up with the JF011 not too long ago, the CVT. I'm sure you're familiar with that. And now they have uh, several new uh, JF series. And the 11 is still in production, but that will be leaving soon. The JF017 is here, as you can see, is in the larger engines, the, the V6 3.5 liter Nissans. And there were no Latitude, which is not in the States, of course. This is a two wheel drive kit. K7300Q is the four-wheel drive kit. It's similar to the other one, except that it has all the transfer unit components. It, this is a bolt-on transfer unit, and because it's um, 
because it's part of the transmission, we felt it was important to have it as part of the kit, but not the same with the two wheel drive kit because you don't want to have to force you to have to buy the all wheel drive components if you only have the two wheel drive. KD2900W, that's a 948TE in the, in the Chrysler applications. These are, these are in the uh, smaller engine, the four cylinders. Uh, but and this is very very similar to the 9HP48, which is also which is in the six cylinders of the crisis. And the K2900Y, which is 9HP48 also, but this is for Land Rover Evoque. Very popular in Europe. Will be very popular here soon in the states too. The difference between these 9HP48s really is, is the main case gasket's different. There's a couple of seals that are different. The clutch plates are different as well. So we're it deemed having different kits. KD6900G, that's a TR80SD, which is an 8-speed, and it's the next generation of the TR60SN, which was the 6-speed version in the Touareg, the Q7, and the Cayenne Porsche. TSK6F50, this is uh, a new transfer case kit. We found, uh, we found that a lot of people were, inqu were inquiring about the transfer case components for the 6F50-6075 series, so we decided to come out with all the seals and the components for the 6F50. And we also have a TSK, uh, TSK 6075, the 6075, which will be coming out shortly as well. Also soon to be released, we have exact OE match kits for ZF applications on the 5-speeds, the 6-speeds, and the Yates P45. The reason we did that, there's some, there's some bolts in there. There's a couple of um, cooler seals, snap rings and such which the typical aftermarket doesn't usually want, but some people want the exact ZF match kit. So if, um, if you're looking for something that's, you know, if somebody says, I have a ZF kit that's OE, and I, I need to match it exactly, well, we have that for you. I'm sure it's a lot more economical. This is some specialty items I want to tell you about this in our kits. This is, this is our TH700 4L60 2.4 servo spring, which fatigues all the time. So we put a heavy-duty one in the kit. This is the overdrive uh, retainer clip for the AOD 470W application. This is for the piston pin retainer. Sometimes they break, most of the times they get lost, so that's why we put it in the kit. This is also for the overdrive uh, servo piston retainer, retainer on the AOD 470W. This one becomes brittle and breaks all the time. This is another one of those things on a 4 o'clock on a Friday afternoon that you want to have in the kit <clears throat> so you don't have to go scrounging through your bins to have to find them. The molded cover for the one two uh, accumulator 470W, 475W. This retrofits the non molded cover. Those are in the kit as well. Some of the things we also have are uh, the ZF valve body plates. We have it for the entire 6HP series the 6HP 19, 21, 26, 32, uh, the whole series. Then we also recently released it for the 8HP series HP 45, 55, 70. Uh, and the 9HP series, which we talked about earlier, we also have the 9HP series 48, 948TE, and these are the different valve bodies available there. We have separate charts. These are not included in the kits, but they're available separately. These instruction sheets are in the kit in order to show you what application. It doesn't always go by the model. doesn't go by the application of the vehicle you're working on, but the codes which we list in, in these charts are what you want to go by in order to know, um, in order to know what the proper plate. So when you're ordering one, and you have a customer who needs one for these one of these units, you want to ask them what valve body they have, which code they have, so you can get them the right plate with the kit. I want to thank you for your time. Uh, I'm, I want to let you know that I'm here to help. Uh, myself and my staff of five engineers are always available for you to help you. You can email me at the email here. You can always call me at 1-800-872-6649. My extension is 3022. I'm here to help. We have a full line of uh, domestic kits and, and aftermarket kits on the on the foreign kits as well. We we have we supply all over the world, and we're um, we're, we're always happy to help. I hope this presentation wasn't too long, and I hope you you enjoyed and got some information out of it. I appreciate your time, and please call me if you need anything. Thank you so much.